and says, I need you outside. And at that moment, is man, it's, it's embarrassing. It's, it's irritating, humiliating. Why me? Starbucks now apologizing to San Francisco barber Bryce Ward after he says he was told to step outside the San Jose location on McKee Road while he waited for his order on March 15th. Ward said a manager told him the store was at capacity per Santa Clara County's COVID restrictions, but he said other customers were allowed into the store. He exclusively told ABC7 News he believes he was targeted because he's black. I was the only black in there. I don't know what was going through her mind. All I can do is state facts. After the incident, Ward took to Instagram posting a video sharing his experience. It's sad and unfortunate how real discrimination still is. I reached out to Starbucks for comment and received the following statement. Quote, we have no tolerance for discrimination of any kind in our stores, and we never want a customer to feel discriminated against. We apologize to Mr. Ward for his experience and a retrained staff on how to respectfully navigate capacity limits to protect the health and safety of partners and customers. I was also told by a spokesperson, quote, the company does not have video available of the incident, end quote, despite having security cameras at the store. Ward's attorney isn't buying it. How convenient that is that the very key piece of evidence that would corroborate what took place here and would probably turn into a viral video once it was released no one can seem to find it. The situation ranks similar to a 2018 incident in Philadelphia where two black men were arrested for refusing to leave a Starbucks location. The men requested to use the store's restroom but were denied because they hadn't made a purchase. Outrage led to the hashtag boycott Starbucks trending on Twitter and led to nationwide employee anti-bias training. You know, we want to bring attention to this. You know, uh, no one should have to suffer silently. Ward agrees. I just want to make sure it don't happen to anybody else. What's up, Royals? I'm yours truly, King Chris. Welcome back to the conversation. This conversation takes us back to the racist Starbucks. Here we go again. A black customer says he was discriminated against by a manager at a California location. Let's get into this conversation, Royals. Okay, so black guy is standing into the line in Starbucks. The Starbucks manager comes and points at him and tells him to step outside because they're full to capacity because of the coronavirus stipulations. But the white people are still coming into the door. The white people are still being served, but she wants him to step outside. And then Starbucks can't produce the video footage. Their video, their security surveillance tape is missing. How convenient for Starbucks. The same thing that these police off that these police departments do and everyone else does when it comes to racial discrimination, they can never produce a video. Black and brown skinned people, it's simple. It's time for us to cancel Starbucks out we don't want an apology we don't want to hear their excuse we don't want their scholarship money what we want is them to get rid of these racist managers and stop taking them and assigning them to different um establishments this manager flats out point period needs to be fired it does not need to be a training because because she knows exactly what she did she singled out the black person and wanted the black person to go outside while the white customers get served. It's simple. And it shows nothing but race. It shows nothing but race. I'm going to say it again. It shows nothing but race. Race issues. And if it wasn't racist, produce the video, Starbucks. Produce the video surveillance. Because I'm pretty sure you have it. It's convenient now that it's convenient for you not to have it, right? I'm pretty sure they went back and they looked at the video. After them looking at the video, they seen the white people still getting served and they seen that white people were still coming into the establishment. So they were like, oh no, oh no, we cannot release this. We cannot release this. You know what? 
We need to cancel Starbucks. It's time to cancel Starbucks. It's time for black and brown skinned people and anyone else that knows racism when they see racism to stop giving Starbucks their money. It's a racist establishment. That's it. Point blank, period. Let it be what it is. It's time out. We can't keep giving these white people passes. We can't continue to let these white people do what they want to us and think that it's okay and them to receive our money. They don't deserve our money. Starbucks is racist. This time right here, it proves the point that everyone has been saying about Starbucks. And it shows because they can't produce a video. The video did not go missing. They will not release the video because it shows the race issues that Starbucks has been having for years. For years. That's it. And it seems like Starbucks has a problem. And they love calling 911. There is five Philadelphia Starbucks location that calls the cops about once a month about once a month and they get away with it it's time out for us to stop doing this and then I want you to look at this other video of Starbucks being racist and we're This is Weston. And Weston hadn't made a purchase yet, you guys. So uh, I would like the Starbucks right here on Redondo, on Artesia, and Hawthorne. This man right here said he hasn't made. He said he hasn't made a, uh, a purchase yet. He's in line to make a purchase. And you guys haven't. Get, you guys. You guys had gave him the code, right? Is it that what you did? No, this is not your business. This is not your business. This is not your business, though. Okay, you may be a store manager, but you're not the. You're not. You're not in charge. I just tried to use the bathroom like you did, and they gave it to you. They, I, yeah. Is it my skin color? 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 I can use the bathroom, but what they could. Amen. I feel it may be my skin color. I ask that you please share this video. Let's make this video go viral. And we have to boycott Starbucks. Black and brown skinned people do not need to continuously to give a racist company our money i am no longer a customer of starbucks royals my black and brown skin people i love you guys so much stay up stay up never down until we meet again may god bless